in the blue corner, Ray Leonard, United States. While carving up opponents, few boxers carved out a legacy like him. Sugar Ray Leonard dazzled crowds with fancy footwork and fists of fury. I wanted to be champion. I wanted to be special. And I think the challenges were always there. It was, it was me against you. His duels with the likes of Roberto Duran, Thomas Hitman Hearns, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler are stuff of legend. I trained so hard, I worked so hard, and I believe I'm, I've been, always been optimistic, though, always. The boxer always embraced the role of underdog. Doubters and naysayers provided the fuel. Oh, oh, that, that's without question. When they told me I couldn't win, they told me what I can't do. Yeah, that, that revved me up. I don't have to think about it. When you say you can't do this, you don't have a chance, I'll show you. The man voted boxer of the decade in the 1980s possesses a personality that transcends sports. You know, it, it's quite humbling at times. It's wonderful, but there's also a responsibility, I feel. A champion in five different weight classes, Sugar Ray says one championship trumps them all. Words cannot describe what it felt like or what it feels like to win a gold medal. In 1976, the native of North Carolina represented the USA at the Olympics in Montreal. Quite a few people can say I was a, a champion, boxing champion, I was this and I was that. Very few can say I was an Olympic gold medalist, but it's just amazing. With golden hair, the amateur entered the professional ranks, a career that spanned 20 years. It's that intestinal fortitude, it's that how bad do you want this? How bad do you want this? In retirement, Mr. Leonard stays active, fighting juvenile diabetes with the Sugar Ray Leonard Foundation. I made a, a huge impact in the boxing ring. I want to make even a larger impact outside the ring by just giving a kid a sense of hope. Excellent, that's what we're looking for. Beautiful. On this night. How you doing, buddy? Come on, guys, get him up, get him up, get him up. Sugar Ray meets donors and members of the Boy Scouts at the Heart of Virginia Council fundraiser. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Donors thrilled to rub shoulders with the icon. The 65-year-old still looks like he could go a few rounds. Demonstrating the finer points of a body blow, Sugar Ray asks this reporter to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It was a one-sided affair. Did you feel that? It's clear Mr. Leonard leaves an imprint wherever he goes. Your goals are the vehicle that takes you there. He walked out of the spotlight as a professional 24 years ago, but the sweet science has never really left the man known as Sugar Ray. I, I lived out there. I, I wanted people to see me and scream for me and cheer for me. And it was great. I mean, words can't describe what it feels like. I'm almost, I'm almost like a little kid when I talk about it because I loved it. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a, that was a real shot. That was not, uh, there was no play acting. Yeah, so. we checked with Greg about that body shot and he said Sugar Ray didn't pull any punches. Greg said he was sore for nearly four days, <laughs> but that it was worth it because he can always say he took a shot from Sugar Ray and he didn't drop. Yeah, I guess so. I've watched <laughs> that video like 10 I, I, times. I wince every single I know. time. I, I, it's, well, it's I a, mean, do you think Sugar Ray, like, he knows his own strength, but yeah, come I think, on. I don't I, think, I think he, he misfired. I don't think, I surely don't think he meant to throw that hard a punch. I mean, Zach, Let's see is, what really, Zach, thinks. Zach is really the only guy who I know who could take a punch like that, <laughs> uh, besides Greg. But Yeah, uh, and he, the, the shirt he wore, too. You couldn't see the bulletproof vest he had underneath that. <laughs> <laughs> which is really impressive to be able to hide it like that. Uh, let's check out how we did for today. It was a hot day, just the second time this May that we 